hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i am going to show you how to uh, solve the error cannot connect to mysql uh, your mysql database sometimes if you are going to your start menu and uh, if you are searching your mysql command line you can see here and i am putting my password if i am clicking enter it will uh, pop up an error and just banish uh, the command line okay so what is actually error now i'm trying to open mysql using command prompt so if i'm opening for command prompt uh, to open mysql in command prompt go on to uh, the location where you have installed your mysql so in my uh, in is in c drive program files mysql here it is mysql server file and in the bin there will be mysql.exe so i'm trying to open the mysql.exe from a command line just copy this link and uh, come to your com i mean uh, the command prompt and paste that link here and just navigate the location where you have installed a uh, mysql now if i'm just uh, typing mysql uh, it will ask for the password okay so you can see here uh, the error is coming cannot connect to mysql server on localhost and uh, an error is here 1061 10061 so i'm show you i'm going to show you how to solve this error so i will explain why this error comes in your pc uh, this is nothing but a simple problem uh, if you are installing uh, mysql in your pc the in back end there is a service uh, named mysql server is uh, uh, running in your windows and now i'll be showing uh, that service now just go to start menu and just uh, search for services uh, wait just search for services so you'll get all the uh, windows services which is running in your backend uh, on support of your windows okay so uh, these all are the services which is currently uh, running in your backend so which all is started means it is running currently and the manual one is uh, uh, we should start it manual but don't go for that this is the vital part of your windows where you can see here just search for yeah, mysql here you can see it's automatic so it means that it's not started I mean there is a uh, because of some issues with your windows it has been stopped so what I have to do is just right click on that and just click start so it will uh, start it again where you can see the status as starter now just uh, close the the command prompt let's try uh, running our ca mysql command line so just open the command line now and just put the password root and just press enter here it is so we have successfully connected in uh, mysql so the error which we have uh, seen the this error was because uh, our window uh, windows mysql service mysql service uh, sql service was stopped for some reason from windows okay so all we did is just restarted manually and uh, here we connected so i uh, from here if I am putting mysql as the command and again some error is coming so this error is, is coming because we should give the username and password so it is like uh, username is root and uh, the password give the password it as root yes we have connected successfully okay so hope you got this uh, if you have any doubt on this please comment below i'll be helping you and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and uh, thanks for watching